enjoy and be back with another video. Well, I'm in my storage. So I slept in. There was a thunderstorm last night. So it was cozy. It was comforting. And living in a car for me is like, it's like being in a cocoon. And although I'm an outgoing person, I'm also an introvert. So I don't have to be around people. I don't have to be in the mix with everything. So being alone is totally fine with me. I'm okay with that. Um, so it's, it's not bad. And I know some of you are concerned or some people like, you know, concerned about my safety and so on and so forth. So I do have a place where I park and so far it's been working out well. I'm in my storage unit. Did I say that already? I know I'm still going through boxes and I just sat here in my storage on my sofa. It still has boxes. So I just sat there probably for an hour watching videos and stuff. So I do have to take my clothes out in order to have room or if I'm looking for an outfit. So this is not even all of my clothes. So this one has a double side. And so that's how that looks. I haven't filled up the baskets that I put down here. And I need to go to the laundry. So this is my laundry bag. So I'll probably go tomorrow. Back to the safety. So I do spend most of my nights, um, if I'm out in the wild, <laughs> um, at an apartment complex. So I have um, one of my coworkers, she said I could stay there if there's any ever knocks or anything like that. And I just like, you know, I'm here with such and such, such and such. So as far as the safety, whenever I go park, it's always at night. I'm either leaving the gym where I've showered or I've worked out. I don't really be doing no strenuous workouts at all. I'll walk. I haven't even started running. So just trying to ease my body back into it. I'll be doing nothing strenuous, but I do love the sauna there. <laughs> Um, it's a eucalyptus sauna and I, I just love it. When I arrive, I do not get out of my car at all. I'll observe my surroundings, make sure no one is out, no one's on the patio, and I just park and I'll turn my lights off. And then honestly, I'm either looking at videos, scrolling or whatever. And then when I'm ready, I'll transition to the back. So I crawl to the back so no one never sees me no one knows who's in a car so what's the point i mean so i'm never seen at all <laughs> and um so i just slide to the back i have limousine tint on my windows in the back and i would say the most annoying thing so far is trying to get my little homemade car window coverings up technically i don't have to use them in the back but I can see out, I can see the light, and I can see all of that. And I, I just want it, I want it to be dark. So in a lot of stuff I do in the dark. So I never turn on any lights or anything. I always back in, it's back, I'm backed into the street. You know, the street is behind me. And so that's what I do. So no one never sees me at all. And it is different. And it's like living in a cocoon. And it is a small space but it feels safe. Some people are like, oh, you need to get a firearm, firearm. I guess that'll come with time. I mean, I have other things in the car. And I remember one day I got in the car, I bought me some stuff from the store and I had my own little, little party. <laughs> and when I went to bed last night, I was trying to finish the show. I started Love is Blind. And baby, before I knew it, the show was watching me. <laughs> I was gone and so this may be TMI so this will be my first time uh, with car living where my little friend is coming and that's gonna be interesting so I am gonna call my doctor um, to see if I could at least try this procedure called an ablation um, he wants to do a hysterectomy but let, let's try the ablation first and so I'm gonna see how that goes because it's just terrible, it's terrible. Nevertheless, I'm here to pick up some of my camping stuff from Connie Chow. 
It is almost four o'clock in the afternoon. I have not eaten. I had some Mentos, but I did go to the grocery store last night and I was determined to make me breakfast sandwich. So I bought me a half a carton of eggs, some bacon, some pre-cooked bacon. And oh, I'll show you what else I bought, but my battery is about to die because I was sitting here watching videos. Um, and I bought a, um, a mini, mini, mini air fryer. So I was gonna try to attempt to make all this stuff in the air fryer, but I don't have any plates or anything. And I've never made eggs in the air fryer. So Connie Chow, as she's still taking care of me, <laughs> um, she got me, I don't know if I talked about it before in a video, I don't know, but she bought me a, a little stove. So I'm here to pick up my little stove. And at this point, I'm getting so hungry that I'm ready to scratch somebody's eyes out. So I'm just gonna find somewhere to park and um, figure out how to use the little stove. And just all I need to do is fry the egg, fry me, cook the egg and the bacon. And the bacon is already cooked, so I guess it's just heating it up and making it crunchy again. So I do have a pan. So this is my, and I'm still going through the boxes. Don't worry about it. And you know, look at me still trying to decorate stuff, y'all. <laughs> so, and so this area is supposed to be clean, but I'm still doing this stuff little by little. This right here is my container with all of my, I guess, van living, car living stuff. So I'm about to look in there and hopefully that stove is in there. And she brought me a whole set of butane and I've never used that stuff before. So that's going to be interesting. Oh, these are shoes and sneakers. I mean, it's just stuff. It's still a lot of stuff. Um, I did get rid of a lot of stuff for people to say that I'm a hoarder, but I come from a big house. I've had houses, um, a couple of them. Um, I tried to sell the sofa, but honey, that didn't go so well. And it was great to come up in here. And I just sat on the sofa and I would just relax for a little while. So what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna make me two delicious breakfast sandwiches. I don't have any paper plates. I know I, I put some forks away, but I have not gone through everything in this garage, I mean, in this storage. So with that said, I may go back to Walmart to pick up some paper plates, maybe some plastic wear so I can have it in the car. I got paper towels, I got hand wipes, and I need stuff to clean the plates. So yeah, I'm not there yet. So this will be my first meal. I'm just gonna pull over somewhere because I got a little space. So I'm probably going to take this. I'm probably gonna take this right here and sit the cooking thing on top of this. Like I said, it's just an egg. It's just an egg <laughs> and a bacon. So I got the egg, the bacon. I bought some bagels, some cream cheese. Oh, and I bought some biscuits because I wanted to try making the biscuits in the air fryer, which I've done before, but this is a little inexpensive little mini air fryer. So let me, before my battery totally dies, let me look for the stove from Connie Chow and the butane. Lord, I'm hoping it's all in that bin. I don't know. I try not to put the stuff for this new lifestyle too far out of reach. So let me see. I'll be back. Okay. These are a few things I found. This is the stove from Connie Chow. never used it but I must have mentioned it with Connie Chow and then I found the butane she was stocking up y'all I've never used it so I'm a little nervous but I know it goes in here some kind of way so I'm about to figure all this out got to stock up got those found me a glass I may feel like that later okay and these right here are my biodegradable bags for my toilet. And I found this, this is a breakfast cooker. And I'm not sure it will even fit inside the little mini air fryer. So I just brought it along just in case. 
This is from Tupperware. I used to sell Tupperware, so I still have a lot of stuff. And I found a little pen. Oh, she cute. She, oh, okay, okay, okay. She cute on out. I'll be careful. Okay, maybe I need a big pen. No, but we're gonna stick with that for now. Maybe just gotta hold it and wait till some food is on there. Okay, say that's our stuff. Okay, all right, all right. And then I found this little thing. I figured. Maybe that can fit inside the air fryer. I don't know. Figure I'll bring that along. And these are, I know I've shown these before, but these are um, plant based body wipes. So these, um, they're like oversized washcloths. And I will say that's what I used this morning because I know I'm going to the gym this evening. So I just wanted to get on with my day. I thought about going to the gym first and showering, but I just wasn't in the mood. So I used this this morning. Um, I also have this for my clothes when I come and pick out my clothes. So I'll be here again tomorrow. This is a, a steamer. So if I need to iron something, I guess. So I bought that. And here are some clothes that I'm going to pack up. These are just weekend wear. And I was using this bag as my gym bag, but it's really my school bag. So I just found this. I think I threw the other shoe to this away. So I'm going to use this old, old, old coach bag and put my gym stuff in here and take it out of there. So that's what I'll do because I was going to buy a gym bag. So at this point, I'm almost ready to eat my arm off. And the quickest and easiest thing to do would be to go buy something to eat. But I will say this journey so far, because I don't have a fridge yet, um, because I'm still trying to figure out my setup. Because I will say in a Nissan Armada, it is not just a flat surface. There are levels, so it's not as easy, I assume, as a minivan. and I'm not at the stage for an RV because that's too big and that's not stealth. I'm still learning. I thought about going to a park, but honestly, I don't feel like looking for one. I did see a park on my way here. Maybe I'll pull over, but it seemed like a neighborhood park. Mm, so I don't know. I just want to make me an egg sandwich. <laughs> my sister is hungry and I'm about to get hangry. No, nah, I don't get hangry. So, but I don't want to buy anything. And then I'm not sure how late the Starbucks stay open. I know the one in my old neighborhood, they will stay open to like nine. But the way my gym is set up also, my gym is set up the way that they want you to hang out there. And they have a cafe, but I'm not sure what time the cafe closes where I could go sit there and work. But there's a little lounge area I can chill out at as well. So... So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pack up my stuff. And so far, this is where I've been putting my clothes and it takes up a lot of space because I'm still trying to figure out my space. So I've been putting my clothes for work and stuff in there, my underwear and all that stuff. And then I will go in there, find something to wear, and then I'll transfer it to my gym bag because the gym has lockers and so when I go early in the morning I go shower sometimes I just go to shower but I feel bad <laughs> and then I get dressed you know shower get dressed the showers are nice they provide the towels and all that stuff they're constantly cleaning it's really nice a really nice gym and you pay the price for it too you won't get what you pay for so I didn't bring any extra bags up here with me. So it seems like I came up here with bags, but I'm gonna be leaving with more. And I think I do have a spot for the stove. And I'm not taking all the body wipes. I just take a few, cause I don't use them that often. But I knew I was going to the gym this morning, but I'll be going this afternoon. So let's see, and I'm not taking all that butane. I'm just gonna take one. I'll see how this works, child. <laughs> I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. And you know, making this transition, um, doing anything new 
it's gonna be you know different and until I get used to it and so forth so just give me a minute but my my little car is not set up real cute and all that stuff at this point I'm not looking for cute I'm just looking for comfort at this point right now and y'all know I could decorate some stuff honey but I'm not at that stage yet because this is all new for me. And I did realize when I was in the car this morning, baby, it was like a little oven. But the people, in, uh, they took out the, what is that? They took out, they removed the video camera, not video camera, the where you can watch movies. They took out the movie screen. And so I was like, let me feel up there. Because I was like, it was hot and there are no trees. And I was like, this is hot. So now I have to figure out a way to try to insulate that area. So I'll have to show you so you can see what I'm talking about. But right where that middle console is in the ceiling, there's no insulation at all. So I was like, that's where the heat is probably coming from because I mentioned in another video, uh, the limousine tent that I purchased it blocks out 95% of the heat. So I'm like, why is it so hot up in here, up in here, up in here? It's coming from this, the roof, the ceiling, the top of the car. So I gotta figure out a plan for that. And I noticed too, the AC doesn't work in the back of the car. But I have fans, but it got so hot before I started getting dressed and getting cleaned up and stuff, I turned that car on and blasted that AC. So it had to come from the front to the back. I mean, which was fine, but bebe, I was like, I need to get out of here. And it was almost like two o'clock at the point. I, I chilled this morning. So let me get something to eat. And so this will probably, probably be my only meal for the day since it's so late. And um, so I'm going to go. What did I say I'm going to Walmart for? Shot, I forgot. I know I don't have no cheese. I like a little a little bit of cheese on my sandwich but since this is gonna be my only meal i think i made owe myself some cheese what period period but i i'm what i know i said i was gonna warm up for something now nah, i don't forgot lord okay i do know i need some cheese and there's some chips see i'm hungry see i probably shouldn't go to walmart but i do want some cheese on my sandwich and then um my sister teacher miss anderson she had some I don't know. They look like Doritos, but they were the air fried ones. I'm going to show you. They, they were good. So I just think I'm hungry right now. And a small part of me feels like just eating, going somewhere to eat. And no, but I only park at night. But I do have things to do. All right. Let me put this stuff back in storage. And I will be back tomorrow to find clothes for the week. And typically I only pick out two to three outfits because I don't have that much space. And then if I have uh, miscellaneous pieces here, I may try to piece something together, but more than likely I come to storage twice a week. And it's not too far, it's still in the vicinity. And since everything is so close, I don't use as much gas. But I may have to go to the old neighborhood tomorrow to pick up a prescription, um, drop some clothes off to donation. I'll look around and see if there's anything else I can donate. But until then, a sister is hungry. So I'll show you if I can use this little thing here, this little stove. Hey, Ben, I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Later.